Hi folks, we've had loads of messages of people wanting to know, is there a small air fryer? And if there is, are they any good? Well, then people at Kasori have actually reached out to us and they've sent us their new Kasori Light 3.8 litre air fryer. It's a smart air fryer, folks. Let's have a little look at it and let's see what it does and is it any good? Quite a lot of you have actually reached out to us and said, is there a small air fryer and are they any good? Well, they've reached out to us and actually sent us this one. Uh, and what we're also gonna do, they've sent us two actually. This one is gonna be for us. And uh, we're also gonna be giving one away a bit later on in this video. So do check out the complete video and enter the draw a bit later on to win a brand new one of these as well. So let's have a little closer look at it. Right, so this is the control panel on the top, folks, there. And uh, you may see that it's got this little scan barcode there. Well, what this thing does as well, if you're that way inclined, you can connect it up to the V-Sync app. You can download an app onto your phone, and that means you can actually monitor this air fryer remotely. In other words, you can be sitting in your living room. What it won't do, though, it's free to download. It's well. free to download the app, that's correct, yeah. But what it won't do, it won't allow you to start cooking because that apparently is against UL safety regulations and that goes with all air fryers. And so, also with the app, you get recipes as well with that app. That's correct, well done. So well done, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a little look at it. Now this bit really surprised us because- um, I'm well impressed, let yeah. me show you why. Yeah, go on, show them why, Sharon. Right, this actually amazed you. Now bearing in mind, Sharon, this is a pretty small air fryer. So that cake tin you got there is a seven inch cake tin. It actually goes in. Now, I couldn't believe that when she showed us that. Now, just to show you, just to give you a comparison, this is one of the trays off of a way larger air fryer, and we can't even get that in there. So this little 3.8 litre air fryer is actually larger inside than one of the other mass-produced air fryers on the market at the moment, one of the larger ones, probably so, one of the premium ones. I reckon if you like making cakes, this could be the one for you because that's your standard seven inch tin and you can make for it. And this is the one I'm gonna be making a Christmas cake in. Yeah. Now, one other thing to note as well with this is that it's only got, can you just turn it on its side, yeah? It's only got a 1500 watt element in it, folks. Now, can you see it at the top there? And the fans below it as well, but that is literally a very small element. I think a lot of the large ones have about a 2 lead, 2,000 or even 2,500 watt element. So it's got a nice little element in it as well. And it's also got these uh, presets on the front. So shall we just turn it on first of all? Oh, is it because the drawer's out? The drawer's out. I bet that's a safety thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So we couldn't turn it out. So let's pull that uh, protection cover off, shall we? There you go. So it's got a temperature range between 75 degrees centigrade and 230 degrees centigrade. And as I said, it is a 3.8 litre, which is for the Americans out there. It's four quarts, this one. And it's also got an auto shut off. In other words, if it isn't doing anything and you leave it on, it will actually shut itself off. Very good. And it's also got an overheat protection as well. So that again will turn the unit off. So good two safety features on there. But the main thing is for me, Sharon. It's the size of that. And I think that is ample for two. Yeah. Not I, for I one don't... person. I think that's ample for two people. And if someone would have said to me a 3.8 litre air fryer, I would have said it's not worth it. No. But that has totally convinced me that. And doing that, what you've just done there with that cake tin. Make me happy. Unbelievable. Me happy. Right, well, let's just see how it performs. We've got a few things to cook up in it, folks. We'll check out. Check it out. We've got a few things here. We've got some chicken nuggets there. We've got some fish fingers, a few onion rings, some chips there. We've got a bag of, uh, what are these, Sharon? Hot dog sausages. Hot dog sausages there. Again, we've just been rooting for our fridge. And we've even got some of these uh, pre-made cinnamon rolls we're going to have a go at. And we're going to be cutting a slice off of this as well, folks. We've got this loin of pork here. So we paid 25 pounds for this. So we're gonna cut a sliver off of that and uh, whack that in the air fryer as well. So let's start frying some stuff in here and let's see how quickly this thing operates. Right, we're just gonna put these in together, folks. Now this thing's actually got a two year guarantee as well. So as soon as you get it, fill in your guarantee card. And um, one thing to note as well is when you get an air fryer, don't really load it right up to the top because you want the air to circulate around it as well. So. We're just throwing this in. Now, you could be a single person living on your own shower, couldn't you? Yeah. Or maybe a, an elderly. You're a student. You're a student. You could be an elderly person who's a bit conscious about, um, obviously, running costs and things like that. And bearing in mind, as I said to you, this has got a little 1500 watt element. 
And uh, this will also save you energy in the long run because the whole point of the air fryers is that it takes quicker to cook than a conventional oven. So right, we're gonna put these in now. Uh, what do you reckon, baby? Should we go onto the fries one? Because we have got fries in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll try the set points out. The set point says 200 degrees for 17 minutes Maybe and we'll just press time. the start button at the end there. And there and we go. If you, as you see, the shake button's already lit up, so it will tell you when to shake. So yeah, when it, it's got the built-in shake feature. I think it makes a noise, Sharon. And you've also got a preheat button there. I think that just warms the air fryer up maybe for a few minutes like before. If you're making a cake or something, you need a warm, like you would your own oven, you need it warm. Yeah. That's your preheat. And you've also got a keep warm button, which will obviously let it tick over. You can keep your food in there and just hit the, the, the keep warm button just to keep it ticking over and if I, you're if you not ready for it. It's not really noisy either, is it? There is a noise, but it's not a noise. No. So coming around the back of the air fryer, folks, this is where your, your warm air will come out. It has got vents along the top there as well. And uh, obviously there as well, but that uh, doubles up as a handle as well there. So I don't think that you can actually shove it right against the wall and block that off. Maybe that's what that handle sticks out for like that. But uh, all in all, it's pretty quiet. So you do get a, a welcome pack with a full set of uh, instructions. You'll also get a quick start guide there. And that's the barcode if you want to down, download the v VSync app and remotely control this. Right, we're a few minutes in now, folks, but uh, one thing to note as well is that not all of these presets here will have the uh, shake function on. So depending on which one you have, obviously the fries have, and it illuminates there. So what happen is, is that within a certain designated time, it will bleep five times, and that's your reminder to shake the unit. And all you do then, literally, is pull the drawer out and just give it a shake. It should be coming up pretty soon, I would have thought, but as I say, not all the functions on here have the shake feature. And because that's illuminated, we know this fries one has got it. I don't even feel much heat coming out the back there. Let's have a little go, hold on. See if we can get your register in that there. That's blowing out now on the heat. Well, that's not a lot at all, really. That's like a hot day in Bleaton, Tenerife, Sharon. <laughs> about 36, 37 degrees, probably. There you go. How about that, folks? So it's not overly heating. A lot of people worry about heat coming out, hitting the wall and condensation building up, but um, that's not too bad whatsoever. There we go, folks. The, the thing has just warned us that we need a shake. And if you have a look in there. It's not always a shake. Yeah, sometimes you can do it just a turnover. So um, turn I think they're looking cooked already, baby, aren't they? Look, they're looking cooked already. Yeah. Well, they've, I tell you what, for nine minutes, normally you have to leave that sort of stuff in the oven for a long period of time, don't you? Mm. Look at and that. what I like, they stay intact. Yeah, they don't fall apart, do they? The nuggets ain't falling apart and stuck to the bottom. Normally they get soggy at the bottom, don't they, when you put them in the oven on a piece of foil or whatever. I've not put no oil on these or nothing. No, they've just gone straight in there. Well, this sort of pre-cooked food anyway is partially cooked anyway, so you shouldn't need to put any oil on, on sort of breaded foods and uh, chips and stuff like that or fries. Mm. Again, they're virtually so cooked, aren't they? I'd say them onion rings are done. Yeah, well, perhaps we should take, take them out, shall Them onion rings are actually done, folks. Look at that. So if we take them out, we, we, we can eat them as a little perk, Sharon. Right, let's whack them back in, then. So in she goes, and, and then it, on it continues own. on cooking as well. Let's get some salt and vinegar out, baby. So they do cook quicker, folks, and as I say, with an air fryer, it is basically a turbocharged mini oven. So whatever you would put in your oven is what can go in your air fryer, but you do need to keep checking because they do cook quicker, shall Let's have a little go at them. Do you like vinegar on yours? Yes. Put a little bit of vinegar on them, folks. Not too mad, because we want to get a crunch. Right, I'll have that one. Or do you want the big one? No, you have the big one. Let's have a go. You've got a big mouth. Oh yeah. That is actually done crispy. They're cooked perfectly. Just keep an eye on food, folks. Don't be frightened. There is no set time for, for stuff. It's a trial and error, just like really it's with your oven. And after yeah. a while, you get to know with your main oven, don't you? And these guides on here aren't cast in stone, are they, Sharon? No. They are literally guidelines. As I say, we're going by the fries one. And as you already saw, let's take this out again. They're virtually done. Check a nugget, shall we check yeah. a nugget? We, we've got our temperature probe, folks. We're just gonna stick it through the middle of the nugget and you're looking for anything above 75 degrees. Now that's zooming, they're actually done, Sharon. Right, the nuggets can come out. 
I'll, I'll expect everything. But if you, like you wanted them a bit more crispier, fish, try the fish finger. You could leave them in a bit long, longer if you wanted to. If you wanted them a bit more crispier, they are crispy though. But I'll, I'll, I'll take them out. In actual fact, they're cooked. Yeah, they're cooked. In fact, everything's cooked. So we didn't actually need the full time no. of uh, the the guide line up there. That's why you do have to check, folks. But that could be, I have chick fries, and that could be chunky chips. You know, your big chunky Yeah, that's chips, what I'm saying. Know. But bottom line is, you've got, to, you've yeah. got to try it. And there you go. So let's just put a little bit of salt and pepper on them, salt and vinegar. Drop that. We'll have a little go at that. And um, what else do we want? A bit of pepper. We like a bit of pepper as well, folks. Now, we all know it's just basic food at the end of the day, but it's what people want to cook, and they want it quickly. That's totally cooked, folks. That's crispy as well. Mm. So even though it's a small capacity at 3.8 litres, which is four quarts, even though it's only got a 1500 watt element in it, it's really taken down the cooking times, which will save you energy, rather than putting that big oven on over there for a preheat, first of all, then whack the stuff in for about half an hour, 40 minutes, and you've done that in literally nine minutes. Happy days. Let's cook something else, baby. Excellent. Right, so we've got a few streaks of bacon there. We've got these sausages, which we're just going to throw in there. One, one, one in. Oh, go on then. Just put one in. Because I'm a single person living on my own, baby. These are hot dog sausages. They are actually frozen. still frozen. And what's the thing we recommend people do before they put it in the air fryer? Thaw it out because it it's makes so it cook dry. quicker. Yeah. So although we're going to be putting this in frozen. I'm going to put that in on its own for now. Yeah, now what have we got there? For the sausages, it says here, 190 for nine minutes. That is out of the Kasori book, so we're going to put that on for that. Just using the menu controls here, folks, using the temp, which is 190, and the time we're going to take down to nine minutes. And then hit the play button. There we go. So we'll leave that to do its magic. And we have got some bacon, as I said to you, but we won't put that in now, because oh, this, okay. probably about three quarters of the way, we'll put the bacon in. You happy with that? And she's still eating. That, folks. <laughs> and one other thing to note as well there, because we've done this in the manual, folks, you'll notice that the uh, shake light isn't illuminated, which means you won't get that audible warning uh, to do it halfway. So it's always best to have a look and just pull the drawer open. It will stop cooking and then push it back in once you've had a look and it will start cooking again. Right, we're down to five minutes now, folks. So our sausage is looking really good in there at the moment. And all we're going to do now is just literally throw our bits of bacon in. We have got a couple of bits there. We'll just lay them in as well. There we go. And just pop that back in. Happy days. If they seem like they're flashing to you, folks, don't worry about that. That's only the camera doing that. So uh, we'll leave that for the last five minutes and come back to you in a second. So we're coming down to the last few seconds now, folks. And I don't really think, shall we? we have to wait that long, do we? Should we open it up and have a look? There we go. Now we did turn the uh, bacon over folks at about two minutes into it. It's only been in there for about three minutes or so. So there's our hot dog sausage. There's our crispy bacon there. You could probably let it go for a little bit longer, but that looks refined to us. And let's uh, just, just oh, yeah, yeah. The drawer, put your drawer the drawer. in folks and then turn your unit off. Should I put some salt on that? Yep, yeah. we're gonna put, we're gonna do this as well for you folks. Got a couple more things we wanna show you. Put this in. We just cut that off of that uh, big loin that we had, so we're just going to season that up as well. This is pork, folks, and we're just literally going to put that straight in there. I'll hold that for you, baby. And I'll season the other side. Yep, so you'll season the other side while it's in there. There we go. Now, we will wipe them down, folks, don't worry about that, and we will wipe the handle down as well. Yes. So, again, we're going to put this on now. I'll turn it on, and we're going to go for Again, we don't really know. Does it give us some sort of indication well, in the book? If not, I would have gone chicken because it's a white meat. That's what I would have done myself. Right. No, so we're just going to go for the uh, chicken. And we're going to leave it on for 13 minutes and we'll monitor it as well. So we just press the play. And as you can see, that one doesn't have the uh, shake facility either. So, uh, yeah, just monitor that, folks. So you're, you're going to monitor it yourself anyway. So Sharon's just going to go and wash her hands. Yeah, some wipe everything. So there you go, baby. You're doing your little bit of washing up. Yeah, washing up. Washing my hands and now I'm washing up. Clearing up as I go along. And as I said to you folks before, your thermometer is your best friend. So there we go, folks. As you can see, that is zooming up there and we're well fine with that. So let's, let's have a little taste, baby. 
Right, I like a bit of English mustard on mine, shall I? Right, all cut up, folks. I'll drive on the bacon. Bit of hot dog sausage there, folks. Mmm. Savoury. Lovely. Well cooked. Let's have a bit of this bacon. Mmm. Absolutely lovely. So after we've done this steak. Oh, the best. The pork steak, that is. We're then going to do some of this for dessert. Cinnamon rolls. Yes, please, mummy. Right, nearly time, Sharon. How long have we got to go? 15 seconds. seconds, 14 seconds. And you actually turned this over halfway as well, didn't you? I did, yeah. So we've not peaked apart from that. Get that drawer open, baby. Oh, look. Oh, Sharon, look at that. Listen, folks. Oh my God, that sounds lovely. Oh, look at that, folks. Look at the sizzle on that. And you've got crackling on the skin as well. Look at that, look. Well, that, folks, looks absolutely amazing. Go on in, cut yourself off a bit. Cooked all the way through. What's that like? Look at that, it's so tender. And that's the thing as well, folks. It retains the moisture, it doesn't dry out. You'd no. think being a fan oven, or basically a little fan turbo oven, you'd think it'd dry out. I mean, look at that, look at that, look. The crackling around that, Sharon, as well. Have a go at that, baby. Yeah? Look, folks, look. Cooked all the way through, look. Just see that. Yeah, look at that, look, look. Cooked all the way through. And it's succulent as well, Sharon, look. I'll squeeze it. Look. Oh, I've got to have a go, folks. It looks too good to be true. I'm going to cut down that seam, baby. Because I want a bit of that crackling at the end as well. Look at that, folks, look. That looks absolutely superb. I'm going in. Oh. Mm. You know, don't you? Baby, that's fantastic. It is. Any person living on their own shell would normally wouldn't bother. But because that's on your worktop, not a big oven, you've got to open a big oven, preheat it. That piece looked lost in that drawer. Yeah, it's surprising how big that thing is for such a little device. So two people is easy. If you're living on your own, yeah. that is the ideal cooking thing. Forget about a big cooker, which costs a lot of money to run. Something this size, you wouldn't believe would do the job, especially as quickly and as well as it's what it's done this. I mean, that's perfect. That bit of meat there. Is for a small air fryer, brilliant. But 3.8 litres, folks. Yeah. I wouldn't touch them normally, but now that, that's actually converted me. And as I said to Sharon, I would have two of these on my worktop, knowing how well they cook. And just have, rather than having a great big thing like that, have two of them. Here's a hers. Here's a hers, baby. We're not down that road yet, bro. We're not having the separate rooms. Yeah. You'll be wanting separate beds next, baby. No, never. Let's cook dessert. So in case any of you don't know, this tray that Sharon's got in her hand is what they call the crisper tray, isn't it, Sharon? Yeah. And all it does is sit in the bottom of your tray, this comes with this, and what that enables the air fryer to basically do is to allow air, the fan at the top there, blows the air down, blows it through the crisper tray, and then comes up and starts cooking from underneath as well. So that's what that is. So Sharon's just cleaned it out now, and we'll put that back in the air fryer. So we've got these uh, Just Roll Cinnamon Swirls. Never had these before, folks, but we thought we'd give them a go, and all it is is a, uh, well, it's got a little tub of, I presume, icing sugar there for you to add yeah, some water to. Yeah, yeah, for your top. To drizzle some uh, like sugar icing on the top. And it gives you this. So it says here. Pull at the red tab. Pull at the red tab. So we've got a little tab on there, which I'm just going to pull. And you undo it. I presume this is right, Sharon. You just, you've only just pulled the paper. You've of course got I have. The tab. No, then you do that, Sharon. Look, you twist it. Never used these before, folks. And then they come out. Oh, here we go, yeah, look. They used to have a thing like this called Pillsbury dough back in the 70s, folks. I don't know if they still make it. So there you go, already rolled up, and all you've got to do is cut it into segments. So all this requires us to do is to literally cut this into, they say, six segments. So let's have a little, have a little go at that. One, two, three, four, five. Five cuts equals one, two, three, four, five, six segments, baby. 
So I'll go with that. And there we go. So there's our six cinnamon rolls. So we'll just take out our air fry tray. And because this is non-stick in here, folks, I'm literally just gonna put them straight in there. There we go. So we're gonna put them in there. Because we've never used these before, we're gonna try and go by the cooking instructions which are on the box. So we've got a little conversion chart here. They reckon for 200 degrees, the air fryer, they reckon 160 degrees instead of 200 degrees. And a normal oven or a fan oven for 15 minutes. So we reckon about 11 minutes in this. So we're gonna knock a few, we've lowered the temperature and we're gonna knock a few off the time as well. So we're gonna take the temperature down to 160 and we're gonna drop that down to 11 minutes. And we'll have a look at them at halfway and see if they need turning over. So off we go. Right, we've got about 30 seconds to go, folks. And at the last three minutes, I did turn them over because they was lovely and crisp on that top side and they just needed cooking underneath. So we did turn them over. Let's get them out when that bleeps any second now. If only you could smell them. Oh, they smell fantastic. So we've really put this to work today, cooking many different things in here, baby, haven't we? We have. And very, we're very impressed with it. Very impressed with it. So here we go, coming down now. Here we go, folks. Let's whip them out. Oh, <laughs> look at them, Sharon. They look fantastic. Right, go on and get them out, baby. Oh, they're fantastic. We'll have a look at both sides in a minute, folks. But those cinnamon swirls just literally come out of a packet, and this air fryer is done them to a T. Let's have a little look at them, folks. Oh, look, top and bottom, folks. It would be rude, Sharon, not to taste these, wouldn't it? But one thing we've got to do first down a bit is though. drizzle the icing on so we just made up that little icing mix folks and all Sharon just just to drizzle it backwards and forwards oh yes look at that all over that's it all over go on Sharon look at them folks oh superb now you haven't got to be a chef to do that show have you you can see that absolutely fantastic he's gonna be red hot I know it so of course they are I owe the crunch. Well, has it made you happy? Yes. Can I go in? Mm. Oh, folks, look at them. <laughs> Let's go in, folks. Oh, oh, Sharon. Oh. oh. Oh, Sharon, you know, don't you, folks? Sharon, what? it's Christmas morning. <laughs> My presents under the tree, Sharon. The Dream smell on. of cinnamon. Oh, it's fantastic. Dream I'm, on. I'm back to a 12 year old kid, Sharon. What have I got for Christmas, mummy? Hey? <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe it, folks. Just out of a packet, I know, but. That is a treat of treats, I tell you. Food is love, folks. Food is love. Do let them cool down before you put the icy sugar on next time, people. Don't be like us. Impatient. The, the proof is in the pudding, chow. What do we think of this little Kasori 3.8 litre light air fryer? 10 out of 10. It's totally convinced me, folks, as to having a small air fryer. If you're on your own and you're on a budget and you want to lower your bills, have a look at one of these. Well, and don't no, forget... No, no. If you're not on your own, if it's two of you, don't, easy. Don't forget, Sharon, we've also got one to give away. Now, if you want a chance of winning one of these, we've only got one, folks, because Sorry have donated that to us. UK only, I'm afraid. Yeah, UK mainland only, I'm Sorry. afraid, folks. In the comment section below, just put in there, Kasori 3.8 litre, in the comment section. And when are you doing the draw for this? And it will be next Sunday, the 23rd of October, 2022, folks. So if you want to win one of them, in this video, you must put down in the comment section, Kasori 3.8 litre, and whoever wins it is going to be very happy. You will be very impressed with it, just as I'm we are. impressed with it. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's opened your eyes to how a small air fryer might work. Air fryer? Air fryer, baby. Fryer. How a small fryer. air fryer might work. I don't work, know why they're called fryers. Might work, work in your life uh, style. 
Uh, you may be on your own. You may be someone who wants something pretty quick. You might be a student. You might not have a big kitchen and you just want something small. Perfect. And that is absolutely ideal. And I must say, it's opened my eyes to small air fryers anyway. Definitely this one anyway, with that massive tray that it's got. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out our other videos and also hit that subscribe button yes. if you like what we bring to you and the way we bring it to you. And uh, don't forget, as I say to you, carry on frying. Food is love, folks. Food is love, baby. Air frying. Food is love, baby. Is it? Yeah. Food is lovely. Right, I'm having them. <laughs> See you later, folks.